Welcome to Couch Surfing, the show where remarkable guests look back at their big roles, their little roles, and everything in between. I'm here with Ron Perlman. Ron? Yes, that's you. <laughs> you ready? You ready to surf? Sure, I'm ready. You are, you are. First of all, when Guillermo was getting ready to do Hellboy 2, and the script started to circulate, and he left out this delicious little tidbit that at one point, Abe Sapien and Hellboy were going to get drunk on Tecate beer and sing Barry Manilow. Um, nobody believed it. And because, like, who does that? Who does in, that? In a superhero comic book movie, right? Know, but it's so genius. And it's probably my favorite moment in the, in the two films. Guillermo was one of the first to truly see you as a leading man. I mean, had you wanted to step into that lane before? Because you were a successful character actor. I said to him from the get-go, that's, that's a great idea, and God bless you, I love you for even, you know, entertaining the idea, but it'll never happen. And sure enough, for seven years, he would go to these meetings at these studios, and he would say Ron Perlman, and they would go, <laughs> like this, and he never got the movie made. And then we did Blade Two, and Blade Two opened it to like forty million dollars on the first weekend, and everybody wanted to to, to to do Guillermo's next movie. And he said to himself, "If I'm ever going to get Hellboy done with Ron, it's going to be this week." Mm. And sure enough, somebody said to him, "How do I get in the Guillermo del Toro business?" And he said. Well, I really want to do this movie, Hellboy. And they say, okay, any conditions? He goes, yeah, Ron Perlman. They go, hmm. Okay. There was a loyalty aspect to it, but there was also this, like, he was convinced, this is the way I want to make the movie, and if I have to make the movie the way you want to make it, I'm not going to make it at all.